Hey guys, there's Soptech here and welcome back. So on this YouTube channel, we are typically talking about things that you should do as opposed to things that you shouldn't do for your airsoft guns. But today we're going to be talking about things you shouldn't do for your airsoft guns. More specifically, we're going to be talking about a thing that you shouldn't do for your piston to fit in your gearbox shell. Now this is something that I've been doing for honestly five or six years and I've just now started to run into a problem with it. At first I thought, okay, it's just that one time that it happened, but then it happened again and again. And so I'm going to stop doing it. I'm going to show you what it was that I was doing and I'm going to show you what you should do instead. So a lot of the times, whenever you install a piston into your new or old gearbox shell, especially an upgrade piston, you'll put the piston in and what you should always do is you should test uh, your piston fitment into your gearbox shell. Screw down the gearbox shell, put two or three screws in it, one here, one there, and one there is pretty good usually. And then with, like, like that, you can test your piston fitment inside the gearbox shell. Now let's just pretend all the screws are in and this thing fits perfectly, great. However, sometimes the pistons don't fit perfectly. A lot of times they're SHS pistons. Um, I can't tell you what gearboxes sometimes they don't fit into. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but sometimes your SHS piston just doesn't fit that great into your gearbox shell. So what I've done for many years, many, many years actually, is take a Dremel, a uh, Dremel bit like this, and kind of route down the center and route down the top of the piston rails here. I'll show you a little bit more detailed down the center and then on the sides. And usually that gets my piston fitting perfectly. Um, the problem that I've run into with this, however, is that eventually, over time, as your sector gear picks up on the pickup tooth, it is shoving the piston upward and that modification that you did sometimes will push the piston, push the piston so far up or clear enough room for the sector gear to push the piston so far up that the, that the sector gear no longer can grab onto the teeth and continue to pull the piston back. Um, this happened to my triple sector gear, gear build, this happened to my DSG build, and this also happened to a customer build, which was really unfortunate. Um, but anyway, all those problems were fixed, and all I did this time around is I took a Dremel bit, and I didn't necessarily modify here a whole lot. What I did was is I modified the gearbox shell rails just a little bit, because what I've sometimes found is that these are really more so the culprit than the piston, believe it or not, with SHS. And this is a lot easier to modify than this is, especially when you're wanting to maintain a certain degree of performance. And so what you can do is you can take this Dremel bit, and as opposed to, again, routing down the piston, you can just kind of route down these rails just a little bit, ever so slightly. And what you should do, um, which is what I did not do, is take more, uh, more attempts at this and not do it so quickly. So what you should do is you should you know, shave a little off. Remember to kind of burr the rails off on the inside as well. Test it, so, you know, screw it all down. Test it just like you do shimming until you get the perfect fit, of course. Um, and that is what you should do. And that's what I did for all three of those guns that I mentioned, the TSG, the DSG, and the customer build, which was also a high rate of fire build. Um, and to this day, all of them are working great. Um, there's no piston resistance or as minimal piston resistance as possible. And the piston doesn't move around a whole lot on top of the rails. So problem solved. Just remember, it's a lot better in my experience as of now to modify this little rail, this guide rail on your gearbox shell on both sides, as opposed to modifying the piston. Um, this piston is just softer than the metal. And so over time, that sector gear pushes up the piston to where it can't pick it up reliably. So I know a lot of people, myself included, that can get away with this old method that I showed you, you know, don't do. Uh, we can get away with this old method in low stress builds, but anything high stress, especially high speed with stiffer springs, just don't do it. When my TSG build failed, and that piston is the thing that broke down, um, it was with an MS210 spring on a retro arms gearbox shell. So, you know, pretty, pretty dang excessive. Um, and then when my DSG broke down with this exact same uh, problem, uh, what ended up happening was I was using an M190 spring. So really any high, sp high strength spring, high strength, high speed setup, you really probably shouldn't do this. Now in a low stress setup, you can probably get away with it. But if you wanna do your best work and your best work possible, then you wanna do things the right way and the way that's going to make them last as long as possible. So just remember that for the future. 
All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you don't mind, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Airsoft Tech themed content. Like this video, it really helps out, trust me. And then comment down below, that one helps out a lot as well. Tell me what your all's experience is with the old method and what you, what you think of my new method. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you again very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever the heck I'm doing next. But until then, stay tuned, Tex.